Hi, I'm Valerine. In the last video, I showed you how to make a simple headband. Eh? Headbands all the rage these days. Maybe to cover up these grays. <laughs> anyway, I promise that I would show you how to make um, a pretty little bow to accent your headband. This bow is not attached, so you can move it around on the headband or you can take it off completely there we go so it's all off and you can actually just use a bobby pin or something just to stick it to the side of your head if you want to wear it in a different way okay so this is what we do first decide on your fabric decide on how why do you want your your bow to be and uh, basically how big you want your bow to be and cut your rectangle as per those dimensions. Now remember, it's doubled. So if you want your bow to be two inches wide, you'll have to make sure you cut four inches, double it back, then you'll get the two inches. And don't forget to cut your half an inch or so for your seam allowance. Now I have a piece of fabric here that I've already cut and stitched on the long side. And the next step we're gonna take is to just use my trusty dowel and turn it inside out there we go put it on and just start working the fabric over the dowel there we go it's happening there we go there we go okay so let's just get it through because we're turning it now onto the right side there we go now the last thing we want to do is to finish our bowl and our seam is in the way so the next thing you want to do is to put your fabric in half but make sure that your seam is down the center it's not to one edge or the other it's down the center and the next thing we'll do is to iron our rectangle. Iron our rectangle with the seam in the center because when we're finished with our bowl, the seam should be hidden. Shouldn't be able to see it. Okay, so I think that's good enough. okay so now we have our rectangle the next thing we're gonna do is to basically just put the two ends together and stitch so we're essentially making a loop okay so now we have our loop and if you notice I have stitched this seam that we ironed into the center on the inside. The next thing we'll do is just go ahead and in order to find the half, I basically just, let's get rid of some of this thread. Yeah. Okay, basically use the iron and just press in order to get the center okay so that's it that's the center so when i open it this would have left an arm in the center there we go so that's the center we are going to take this and we're going to put it on top and we are going to stitch okay okay there we have it so this is the beginnings of our bowl. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is decide how much space we want between the outside and the inside loop when we're making our bow. And I decided that I want about uh, an inch. So what I'll do is just take this and just Play around with it, stuff the back part here against the center 
and it's more than an inch so let's just go there we go okay now let me just use my little measuring tape here and see yep yep it's about an inch so I'll go ahead and I will basically open this and I will stitch right along this is the spine of our bowl here and I'll stitch right along the back here there we go okay the same thing we are gonna do the same thing on the opposite side so let's just turn you around uh, essentially what you could do is just put this up against this it's the same and then you just stick this in here and just do there we go yeah looks like about an inch yeah there we go so we have it and we do the same for this we are going to stitch down against the spine now it's time for a bow to take shape okay so you will need a narrow strip just like we stitched the rectangle for the bow and the rectangle for the headband you need a narrow rectangle a strip essentially to tie the middle to keep the shape of her bow in place so just start by crunching up the middle of the bow to start getting your folds here and there and then when it looks like how you want it to be you just use your strip and you put it around the middle and tie to the back okay so when you start the first tie don't make it too tight just make it tight enough to hold it the middle in place how you want it to be and then after that you just make sure that the folds are where you want them to be it's all good and then you go back and you tighten your strip okay and then if your strip is long enough you can give it another knot to hold it in place or like I'm going to do you can use your needle and thread and just hand stitch the two ends together to secure the strip in place there we go then just let's go ahead now and knot off the thread to secure the strip in the middle of the bow and then we will have our bow ready for our daisy detail and for the loop that will allow us to put our headband through okay so there we go that's our bow and here is our daisy detail now I have stripped I have stitched another strip just slightly wider than the strip that I used to tie the middle of the bow to get the shape of the bow in place and on that strip I have applied a daisy with a little button and a little green detail around this is what I did I just used um, a little daisy that I bought from the dollar store and I use a pair of scissors to just clip off the back of the daisy because I want the back to be flat enough to be able to apply it to the strip that we're going to in turn apply to our bow then pop the middle out put your little green detail which is like the little stem in the center get a little button and put the button in the center put your daisy onto your fabric and just use your needle and thread to hand stitch your button 
your little green stem and your daisy to the strip that then we're gonna apply to the bow and there you have it a pretty bow okay so I'll furthermore just use my needle and thread sorry to just put a couple of stitch onto the bow itself so that when we apply the the bow to the headband this daisy won't be moving around it will be held securely in place on top of our ribbon okay there we go just a couple stitches will do the trick I'll do one more and then we will be good and just knot it off to make sure it's finished properly just knot off the thread here there we go and then we just cut the excess thread there we go so we have our secondary band which is going to leave a loop behind the bow and that's where we're going to tuck our headband through so in order to stitch the two ends together just twist a bit inside out both sides twist a bit and then put the ends together and take it to your sewing machine and sew the ends of the strip i'll call it the loop strip i said loops, loop strip because that's where we'll tuck our headband through there we go now let's just finish this off just turn this inside out there you go and we have that loop gap where we can go ahead and tuck our headband through there we go now when you put your ribbon onto your headband whatever you want to do if you want to put your bow to the side or you want to put it in the center whatever style you want you can go ahead and do that and this is what the bow detail looks like on the headband there you have it a lovely bow for your headband and really you don't even have to wear it on your headband you can wear the headband without the bow you can also wear the bow without the headband by using the bobby pin to go through this loop and to put your bow in your hair wherever you want to place it i would love to see any pictures if you give this project a try you can send me pictures at at Valerie Vernon Designs on Facebook or tag me on Instagram at Valerie Vernon Designs if you have learned anything please share like subscribe and hit the notification button okay so until next time Cheers.